Hi there, I'm Clifford Bates, and welcome once again to Reading Aristotle's Nicomachean Ethics. We are continuing Book 7 of uh, the, the Ethics, uh, looking at today Chapter 4. Uh, chapter 6, I mean 7, tends to be the kind of um, raising the question of self-restraint and perplexities of self-restraint. Today we're kind of dealing with the last chapter we dealt with the first response to the uh, you know, in chapter two, there was a series of complexities that came up, uh, problems or questions that needed to be resolved about self-restraint and uh, it's what it is and what how it is and then uh, and what it's not. Um, and uh, last chapter, uh, four, three, dealt with the first perplexity. Now we're doing what the next perplexity, okay? So let's go look at it. It must be stated next in order whether anyone lacks self-restraint accuracy, right? Um, uh, or no, sorry, so, uh, lacks self-restraint. That means um, ek, uh, en, enkratia, right? Enkratia, self-restraint. The absence of it is lacking. Uh, lacking self-restraint is akrasia. So anyone with who akrasia. So this is uh, 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 lacking self-restraint in an unqualified sense. So looking at akrasia in an unqualified sense or whether all who lack self-restraint do so in some particular respect. So is it the question, is there is there unrestrained accuracy in a general respect, or is it when people do, has, when there is accuracy, it's always in a specific respect. And if this later is the case, the latter is the case, with what sort of things uh, the person lacking self-restraint is connected. So, in other words, if it is the latter, there's no general, so if, there is, if it is always a particular thing, well, what kind of particular thing is it, right? What, what, particular, what kind of political, particular things are connected to this lack of self-restraint? Now, it is manifest that self-restraint, or actually uh, 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 self-restraint, that self-restraint and critia and steadfast people as well as those who lack self-restraint and or are soft, um, are concerned with pleasures and pain. So again, this is tied to the connection with pleasures and pain, right? At one level, they're connected. It is manifest. He says it is. Uh, it is manifest that both the self-restraint and the steadfast and the, the lack those who lack self-restraint and soft are concerned with pleasures and pain. Some things productive of pleasure are necessary, and others are choice worthy. So that some things that produce productive pleasure are necessary, required, necessary, no choice involved. Others are choice worthy in themselves, but success susceptible to excess. So there's two things: there's necessary pleasures and pay, uh, uh, pleasures. And there's some that are choice worthy, but can be in excess, right? The bodily ones are necessary. I mean, such sort of pleasures as are bound up with nourishment and sexual needs. The things, you know, the, the things of Aphrodite, right? And the, uh, the sort of bodily pleasures that we posited as being the concern of licentiousness and moderation, right? This is... The, the, the aspect of this, licentiousness and moderation. Licentiousness is excess, moderation is the proper amount, right, of, of, of these issues, of the bodily needs, physical nourishment and sexual needs, and, and, uh, and the other pleasures that we positively be concerned with these things, right? Whereas the other pleasures are not necessary, but choice-worthy in themselves. I mean, for example, victory, honor, wealth and the good and pleasant things that of that uh, uh, and the good and pleasant things of that sort the agathos and pleasant things of that so therefore there's two things there's things of the body right there's the questions of things that are the body like uh, needs um of of nourishment that are necessary you know sexual our sexual nature things of aphrodite that uh, a lust and the bodily needs and the uh, uh, nutrition and uh, nutrients eating, right? Uh, these are necessary things. Uh, uh, then the other ones are choice worthy, things like honor, uh, uh, victory, honor, wealth, and the good and pleasant things of that sort, right? 
These are things that are choice worthy, but only in moderation. But they can go, if you go too much of them, it can be problematic, right? That's that previous uh, line up there. So given this, given this, when it comes to the people who are people who are excessively concerned with these sort of pleasures, contrary to correct, contrary to correct reason. So though you're overly concerned with that and you're not and reason it's it's contrary to what re, correct reason, right reason or you know, ortho logos uh, that is within them. We do not say that they lack self-restraint in an unqualified sense. But instead, we set down an addition lacking self-restraint in regard to money or gain or honor or spiritualness. So therefore, in, in regard to these kind of people, these other ones, like the uh, 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 gain, mon in other words, regard to money, gain, honor, spiritedness, right? They don't lack, in other words, we, 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 we're talking about when it comes to these kind of the latter sort, right? Not the bodily things, but these other things, the choice-worthy things. We say that, that we do not say that they lack self-restraint without qualification on the ground that they are different. Um, that they are different and are spoken of as such only in reference to a certain similarity they share. So, therefore, in other words, we don't say we don't say they lack self-restraint without qualifications, on the grounds that they. They're different and are spoken of as such only in reference to a certain similarity they share. Just as with Anthropos, human being, the Olympic victor, right? Okay. In other words, Anthropos, the person, human being, um, and the, Olymp uh, the Olympic victor. In, uh, in his case, the common definition of the common logos, uh, the define uh, the logo argument, or the differed little from the definition of logos particular to him, the name or something. Uh, 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 but it was, uh, but nevertheless, it was different. Now, this is a, according to several sources recorded in Bartlett, there was a boxing champion named Anthropos in. Uh, 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 456. So therefore, there was this difference between him as a, the individual person and the difference uh, between this. In other words, there is um, that there's the distinction between the human being in general and this person, this one being. This is again the general, the the larger thing, the larger thing, the class and the group. Here he's doing the same thing. He's saying the individual case. The individual case, in other words, self-restraint is the larger thing. It's the whole class of self-restraint. This, this unqualified sense of someone who... But here, the class, a specific instance of it, right? Uh, of this and, and that such... The individual thing of it. But the, the whole class of the thing um, here of, of self-restraint, lack of self-restraint, um, um, versus the the case of it in this case, the particular instance of it, right? As Anthropos, this, uh, uh, in other words, the common definition differed little from the definition particular to him, the Logos. The, uh, the Logos, in his case, Logos differed little from uh, the de uh, uh, from Logos particular to him, but, uh, uh, but nevertheless, it was different, right? There was the same name, Anthropos, but it was, not it is it is it is they say the same name it looks similar it looks common to that but it's his a specific case right and there is a sign of this for lack of self restraint is blamed not only on the grounds that it is an error but also on the grounds that it is a certain vice either without qualification or in a, some specific way. But none of those who lack self-restraint in some specific respect are blamed in this way. In other words, the other ones, in other words, there's a vice towards it. In other words, the specific ones, they're in the specific way, there is this vice connected to the ex excessiveness of this. There is a vice. In other words, the lack of self-restraint leads to a vice. Um, and... and, and, and uh, with, uh, uh, either without qualification or some specific or, or some partial way. 
So the error, in other words, in other words, for lack of self-restraint, is blamed only on the grounds that there it, that it is an error, but also not not a, it, it's an error that it's an error, but it's also on the grounds that it, it is a certain that, that it is a certain vice, either without qualifications or particular. In other words, what it's doing, the thing that it is doing, is a vice. It's it produces a specific vice. Okay. Uh, but not, but none of those who lack, in other words, but none of those who lack self-restraint, uh, who, who, who have accuracy in some uh, a specific respect are blamed in this way. So therefore, okay, what does it mean by this? This is a very complicated sentence here. For there is a sign of this, for lack of self-restraint is blamed only in the grounds that it is an it, it is an error, right? But also on the grounds that it is a vice. Okay, it must be what is being done is clearly a vice, either without qualifications or in some particular way. But none who lack self restraint in some specific respect are blamed in this way. So therefore, this is that is. That is, that is this is a tough sentence because what is being met here in that sense the literal grounds of here would have us read it a certain way so let's look at what i'm going to look at the traditional brody which gives us kind of the analytical the classic analytical take of this Forty-eight. Um. He goes, okay, the sentence here um, from his line is, is that an indication of what we're saying is lack of self-control, self-restraint, is censored not only as a fault, but also in this way, badness, either without qualification or, or in some terms of a particular sort of badness. Whereas none of the types of uh, 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 just mentioned is censored in that way, right? Okay, that's one way we can read it. Um, I'm sorry, I'm going to be playing baby. You're going to see me going both and forth to help us understand this a little better. Uh, you're saying, well, why don't you turn the video off and go get the books and come do it this way? Okay, well, this is, this is, let's go look at this for a second. Ooh, no. An indication of this is that lack of self-control, whether unconditional or partial, is blamed not only as an error, but also as sort of a vice. Whereas none of these other people are blamed. So therefore 529, let's go look at 529. There's a note here, 529. Let's go look at 529. Indication of this unconditional and partial lack of self-control is different. An indication of people is, or an indication of this, that lack of self-control is blamed not only is an error, but also the sort of vice, and, or, whether unconditional or partial, uh, it, it, whereas none of these are blamed none of the other people, the ones suffering from this type of partial self-control mentioned earlier, that are concerned with non-necessary sorts of pleasures, right? Such as wealth, profit, and so on. So again, this is, this passage is trying to understand that, that uh, 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 this limited sense of way, these, these 
there were these kind of people when they when they go in that self restraint specifically the, the areas the other one the ones who deal with the the the, the bodily pleasures and the ne necessary things maybe are more blamed than the, the ones who are here in this sense right among let's continue among those who are concerned with such bodily enjoyments as we say are the concern of, of the moderate person, so Vasunos, right, and the licentious one. There is the person who pursues the excess of pleasures, right, and avoids the pains, bound up with hunger, thirst, heat, cold, and all of those pleasures, and pains associated with taste and touch. But he acts in this way not from choice, but contrary to his uh, uh, choice in thinking. In other words, there is a sort of person who, what, he doesn't want to do it. He doesn't do it by choice, but he simply just does it. Okay. So in other words, there is um, among those concerned with bodily employment, there are people who just can't help it, right? They, they are simply that the, he, he acts this way, not from choice, but contrary to his choice in thinking. This person is said to lack self-restraint, not with reference to some additional qualifications to the effect that he is concerned with this or that, as in the case of someone lacking self-restraint when it comes to anger. Rather, he is only said to be lacking self-restraint unqualifiedly. In other words, so the unqualifiedly things tend to deal with the necessary things, he's saying. The necessary things, the people who, uh, 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 whereas things that are kind of by choice, the higher things that we took about honor, anger, things like that, um, this is what we consider those are, more kind of um, um, so therefore those this is that interesting point there's those who, who, who he says that those in this general sense they err and they can't they, and they, what they're doing is a vice they get it like this so there is this kind of idea here this person is said to lack self-restraint not with reference to some additional qualification to the effect that he is concerned with this or that as in the case of someone who lacks self anger, uh, rather he is said to be lacking self restraint There, uh, and there is a sign of this. People are said to be uh, uh, be soft when it comes to these pleasures, but not when it comes uh, 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 to any of the other ones okay so therefore these kind of body soft all right and abuse in other words the other pleasures the choice worthy pleasure will come soft in that sense mm, interesting so that's one thing that we see them as soft right they have that on this account too we set down the person lacking self-control self-restraint and the licentious persons in the same category as well as the self-restraint and the sofasune, the moderate or self, you know, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, sofasune, which is self, uh, um, sound-minded, sound-minded, or uh, 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 have soundness of mind, soundness of uh, a reason, right? A, a, a choice, sofasune, um, but not so in the case of the any other vicious or virtuous types. And we do so because they are somehow concerned with the same pleasures and pain. They are connected with the same thing, but not in the same way. For the licentious chooses the pleasures in question. Those lacking in self-restraint do not choose them. So the, 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 the licentious is one, the, the, the intentionally licentious versus the unintentional licentious. The one who would choose not to be licentious but are licentious, that is the one who lacks self-control. But the licentious one who chooses it, they choose it, this is the this is the vice. This is the vice. This is licentiousness as licentiousness. This is licentiousness as lack of self-control. Um, but we can't, we don't speak of that of the other virtues or vice, uh, or vices types, okay? Honor, in other words, things that are more of choice in that sense, right? Choice worthy, not necessary. Um, lacking, uh, hence, uh, we would call anyone who pursues excessive pleasures while not desiring them or desiring them only mildly, or who avoids measured pains more licentious than 
someone who acts in these ways on account of a strong desire, right? In other words, we would call anyone who pursues excessive pleasures while not desiring them or desiring them only mildly or who avoids measured pains more licentious than one who acts become a kind of strong desires. In other words, their desires compel them, their desires push them. Um, for what would the former person do if, if youthful desire should arise in him and the strong pain associated with, necess with, with, with the necessary need? So therefore the question is, what would the former person do if youthful desire should arise in him and the strong pain associated with the necessary with with the necessary needs, right? So um, they be kind of compelled. They're, this is this is where ecclesia emerges. The desire pushes us. We don't choose it. Our our mind doesn't think it's something. It's not our the rational, judgmental choice. We don't choose to do that. It is that these desires overwhelm us, right? That's the saying. Some desires and pleasures fall into the category of noble or kolos, kolos, or noble and beautiful, and serious, budaios, things. For some pleasures are by nature choice worthy. This is interesting. Some by nature choice worthy. Some are contrary of these, and still others are in the middle between them. So therefore, there's some, they're falling classes of things. Some desires and pleasures are noble and serious, spudaios, kolos and spudaios. And therefore, these, these are the things that are by, for some pleasures are by nature choice worthy. So therefore, are there, are, are all the, are all the, 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 some natures fall into the choice of noble and serious things. Are the, are therefore, are there, are the pleasures, are, are by nature choice worthy? Are these those, or the uh, this last is is just one class of those? The naturally choice worthy, but the not natural choice worthy. There is something choice worthy, but they're not choice worthy by nature, but they're still noble and serious. Okay, that, that is that's a question that we don't didn't resolve here. Um, we can assume this is only referring to this, but is, this could be just a subclass of that. We don't know. Okay. But some are contrary of these. They're not this. They are, uh, uh, and, and um, that they are not noble and serious. But are they simply unnatural? Are these unnatural, or some are, are, could they be some natural, and some might not by nature? Right. These are the opposite. These are unchoice worthy, or something we should not do. Nature says we should avoid them. Right. Some are contrary to these, and still others are a middle between them. So therefore, the uh, 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 the noble and serious things, which are by nature, we could say maybe, then uh, there's two ways to read this, is that it, the, all these are just, uh, uh, all these serious in this class is simply by nature, and then some are contrary to these. And then another one is a middle uh, between them, just as we defined them earlier. For example, monetary money, gain, victory, honor. Okay, these are the middle ones. They're not by nature, uh, uh, but they are also can be plus. Uh, uh, they can be choice worthy. Um, so therefore, that, that I think this here, after this point here, we can say this is probably referring to all of these, this first category, and something, and therefore these things uh, uh, are nation. Uh, the things that are by nature not choice worthy, these things are the opposite of these things, right? Some are contrary to these. So therefore, not only they're not, they're ignoble in this, but they are by nature not choice worthy. Interesting, that's how we can understand this line. And and therefore, the middle terms is that, you, should, you know, they're not by nature, there, uh, 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 but they are still uh, uh, choice worthy. But if you go to extreme, that, you know that's the argument before. You go to too much of it, you can be at too much excess. This can be problematic. Again, uh, uh, this is a mean position, right? That too much, more too much, too little goes into the negatives, right? The, the vices, and 
it is in regard to all these, to all these, both the pleasures of this sort and those of the in-between kind that people are blamed, not for undergoing them, not for undergoing them, desiring them and loving them, but rather for doing so in a certain way, namely in excess. In other words, the problem is the excess of it, not that they love these things, but they go too far. Okay, that's the problem. They get blamed not for loving, not for desiring. It's not the desiring that is wrong. It's by going, uh, 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 um, made, it's, it's the desiring too much and doing, uh, going beyond what is things, right? It's uh, uh, not for undergoing them, desiring them and loving them but rather doing so in a way, namely in excess, accessible. Hence, all those who, contrary to reason, are either overpowered by or pursue something by nature noble and good, are not corrupt. Uh, the complete sentence does not have a main verb. We supply what we take to be the missing fine burnet. So therefore, the, missing, the sentence is missing a verb, and that is not corrupt. Uh, uh, pursue by nature, uh, 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 in other words, overpowered by uh, uh, or pursue something by nature beautiful, kolos and agathos, kolos agathos, right? Um, uh, uh, and if we leave, the, remember this is brackets mean that they, they put a thing and they say not corrupt, right? That's the assumption. For example, those who are more serious, spudaios, then they ought to be a about honor or about their offspring or parents or or about their offspring and parents for these concern our concerns are in fact good and those who are serious about them are praised right so therefore this is this is why it's not corrupt this is not why it wouldn't be blameworthy it's not something we understand it in other words people who are something that is noble and good being being excess of the noble and good the noble, the kalos, the beautiful, the noble, and the good. Mm, this is not um, uh, something we would uh, is not corrupt. May not be the it might not be the wise thing. It might not be the best action. It may be it, it, it might it might be still a wrong action, a problematic in that sense, uh, but it's not corrupt. But nevertheless, there's a certain excess in these things, too. If like someone like Niobe should fight against even the gods, or as uh, a satyrus, nicknamed uh, Philopraptor, was disposed, to, uh, was disposed towards his father. Now, 25, the account of Niobe differs, but she seems to have represented excess mourning, right? After Niobe boasted of her worth as compared to Leto, Leto's two children, Artemis and Apollo, are said to have killed all Niobe's many children. Barnard suggests that Saturus may have been a fourth century king of, of ba uh, Bosphorus who defied his father, he, although some commenters different. The Philoprator means literally father lover or friend to one's father, right? So um, uh, uh, he, he is, in other words, suggests he's defied his father. Pilopotus defied his father, but his name is the father lover. Right? Um, uh, um, uh, 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 the, uh, uh, who was disposed towards his father. In other words, he defiled his father. Lover of father, right? Father lover, friend to a friend. Um, uh, 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 fighting, in other words, they have something. This is, I mean, this is that they're serious about these things, but they go too far. Niobe should fight against even the gods. They love, in other words, Niobe comes that she uh, she boasted of her worth compared to Leto. Leto's two children, Artemis and Apollo, are said to have killed all Niobe's children. So she's, in other words, she boasts even higher than the gods. She loves her children more than the, the gods in that sense. That, that therefore, this is the problem. This is your, or that you love your father in this sense, in natural way, right? Like loving one father is okay, but loving one father is too much. <laughs> uh, 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 in other words, a certain excess in these things. 
for he has held to be an excessively silly, for he was held to be excessively silly this last time, this, this guy. Um, uh, there is then no corruption concerning these things on account of the point mentioned, that by nature, each of them is choice worthy in itself. But their excesses are base and are to be avoided. So the thing, the thing itself, is choice word: love of a parent, love of children, love of children, and love of this. But the excess of this, the going to excess on these things, this is where it is base and to be avoided. Simultaneously, there is no lack of self restraint pertaining to eat, uh, to uh, 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 them either. So there's not lack of self-restraint here either. For the lack of self-restraint is not only something to be avoided, but also blameworthy. In other words, the lack of self-restraint is not only something to be avoided, but it's also blameworthy. Similarly, there's no lack of self-restraint pertaining to them either, these two cases that he's talking about, or this case of that, uh, that someone who's doing something by nature that's choice-worthy and that uh, that is going to excess. That's interesting. That, uh, similarly, there is no lack of self-restraint pertaining to them either. For lack of self okay, maybe this refers to the, okay. for lack of self-restraint is not only something to be avoided, but also blameworthy. So this, this acrasia is not only blameworthy, it's, a, it's blameworthy, but on account of a similarity to the reverent, uh, 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 irrelevant experience. People say lack of self-restraint when specifying something additional about each case. As people say, for example, bad doctor or bad actor about someone who they would not say is simply bad. So therefore, there was a, we have a thing about this, that some people are just maybe bad. But then we specifically add an account to it. That, 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 in other words, the bad doctor, as a doctor and that actor, they don't think he. They don't want to say he's bad at all. He say, "Oh, he's bad at that. He's bad at this." But someone they would not say is simply bad. So this is the same thing. That we, this is not. We 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 will look at something that lacks, for lack of self restraint is not only something to be avoided, but is brainworthy. But on account of the similarity to the relevant experience, right? That this is a relevant. This is something that okay, I understand. This is relevant. This is a good thing. So therefore, we don't want to claim the good thing is a bad thing uh, or claim that they are bad simply because of it. That, but rather, we just claim that this is a lack of self-restraint. Uh, uh, people say lack of self-restraint when specifying something additional about each case. Right? Just as then, one would not, just as then, one would not in these cases speak of their being bad simply okay these people but each of these conditions uh, because each of these conditions right is not vice but only similar to it by way of analogy in other words it's similar to it in other words the condition that it is it's only sim it's not a you know it's in it in it of itself isn't is just a, it, it, it's 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 a vice by analogy because of the excess of it, right? It, uh, um, it is also clear. Um, it's uh, so it is clear in this case too that only that which is concerned with the same thing as our moderation and licentiousness should be supposed to be lack of self restraint. Should be supposed to be lack of self restraint and self restraint. Whereas when we speak about lack of self-restraint in a specific point of spiritness, by a way of a certain similarity only. So in other words, this now he's going to say this that it's it's he makes the argument here for that uh, that when the concept of self-restraint and lack of self-restraint, a uh, 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 self-restraint is uh, enkratia and akratia, are only really relevant in, in their general sense as that in the specific case of those concerning pleasures and pains, right? Concerning the body, the pleasance and pains of the body. Um, uh, uh, but when we talk about the other ones, those choice, those middle categories, those middle categories, well, here, 
mm, these these also tend to be good things that only when in their excess are bad, right? And therefore, what happens here? We can say then, therefore, they're they're not simply the vice. They're not a vice in the sense, right? They are only they're 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 they are like this by he says by analogy, right? That they're, they're they this condition is analogous to a a a a a an, an, an argulous, I can't say it. I'm using the an analogy and that analogous 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 to uh, something vicious or bad base okay it's the, the, the condition the, the thing itself love of children or love of father and is not base it's this excess that the excess of this activity is analogous to something base Okay, in that sense, becomes base in that sense, right? Um, so therefore, this is the problem here. Hence, we assert that when someone is lacking self-restraint, adding also when it comes to spiritedness, just as in the case of honor and gain as well. So this, in other words, this, these middle points, you, they're, they're, in other words, they're, this, is, this is something that is particular. These are particular to... Uh, 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 the, the lack of self-restraint there, or self, you know, the lack of self-restraint here, is in relation to the uh, the particularness of the defect, the excess of it, right? But what about the deficiency of it? In other words, someone who, but that's the vice. That's the vice, right? That is the vice. I choose. I I choose. I I, I don't choose to do this. I don't choose to do the right action in regard to that, right? That is a choice of it. The choice is not to do this. Here is the person. But so therefore the person would, this would be the case of the person who doesn't choose it, but does it anyways, right? Is this is this kind of a lack of self-restraint? No, this is, but it's not a virtue either, right? It's He it does the right thing, but not, so therefore this is an accidental thing. That's not virtuous. Um, um, it's not, is it praiseworthy? Well, doing the good thing is always praiseworthy. We could argue or try, uh, desirous, but the question is the intention, it, attending doing it versus accidentally doing it differs in that sense, right? So this is how we end this chapter. So, okay, let's end here. Um, if any comments or questions, please put them in below and I will respond to them when I see them. Um, if you like it, like the channel, like it, hit, hit like hit like today's video, uh, hit the like button, please, because it helps the algorithms. Uh, if you like the video, share it on your social media, share it on other uh, source of uh, things, uh, share it far and wide, please. It's, uh, share, share it with a friend by, you know, by send the link or send something to them so that they can, uh, 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 you know, doing it. If, and also, if you've not subscribed, please subscribe because it helped build the channel, encourage others to come to visit the channel and look at it. And maybe they'll find something they like in my other videos and the other uh, uh, um, playlists of the various things we have so done so far. And then what we can do is you can also say, um, uh, well, okay, that's subscribe. Now, if you didn't like it, you had something, you didn't like something I did here and you disagree with anything, you can thumbs down it, but say why in the comments so people can learn about it, you know, this, you know, just don't thumbs down. If you got thumbs down it, say why. This way some people can learn and benefit from this. Um, the other thing about this is what? Oh, okay. Um, uh, uh, you want to follow me on social media? The social media links are below. My links to my social media are below. If you want to know more about me as a scholar and a researcher and see, look up my work and stuff like that, you can look at my academic social media links below those, the social media links, and they'll take you to the various places where my research can be understood and more about me as a scholar and a researcher. Uh, then if you want to help me to do what I do, financially assist, help kind of financially assist what I do here in this uh, thing, you can do so through Patreon or so, so I'm sorry, links are below. It's not really links, it's just the... the there. Um, another things you can help me with in that sense, or, or you want to, other way, you can, that's one way you can help me with. Other ways you can buy one of my books. The, I have three list, book lists available down there, uh, currently available books in that sense. Um, you can order them at your local bookstore, or uh, uh, if they don't have them, 
you know, to ask them to do it, or you can order them online for uh, an online bookseller like Amazon or uh, uh, Barnes and Noble or something like that. Next, you can do what? You can um, another way you can do this is you want to vote by the publisher too. Um, it would be you know, if those of you who who, who, look, who are studying Aristotle's politics. Well, you can use my notebook for Aristotle's politics. Uh, go to Lulu and order the book through Lulu. Yes, it's okay. Lulu may charge you things, but if you buy it by Lulu, the publisher, I will get the profit that bookstores will get, or the booksellers like Amazon or things like that will get. Uh, so it, that's it would help in that sense. Okay, that's it. Uh, next time we'll look at each chapter five. Um, uh, we, we continue, and that's it. Have a good day. Take care. Bye bye.